Make sure the surface of the base plate is clean. Spray a very small amount of distilled water onto the top of the base plate. Use a lint-free optic wipe to clean the surface. Spray a very small amount of distilled water onto the surface of the base plate. Place the rubber pad onto the base plate and slide the rubber pad around until it grips the surface. Using too much water will cause the rubber pad to slide around on the base plate. Make sure the surface of the rubber pad is clean. Spray a small amount of distilled water onto the top of the rubber pad and use a lint-free optic wipe to clean the surface. Use this procedure only if the connectors need the epoxy bead removed. Apply a very small amount of distilled water to the rubber surface using the spray bottle. Using too much water will cause the film to slide around on the rubber pad. Place the 15 micron silicon carbide film with the smooth shiny side down on the rubber pad. Start by placing the edge of the film onto the edge of the rubber pad. Slowly roll the film across the rubber pad to avoid creating large air bubbles. Spray distilled water onto the surface of the film. Use a clean lint-free wipe to press out any existing large air bubbles while cleaning the film at the same time. Spray distilled water onto the surface of the film again. Make sure the surface of the film is completely covered with distilled water. Set the fixture plate onto the four locating pins making sure that it lies flat on the base plate. Set the timer according to the fixture plate being used and press the green button. Time is determined by the size of the epoxy bead. Additional time may be necessary due to the size of the epoxy bead itself. Refer to your manual for specific times. After polishing has finished, place the fixture plate into the fixture plate holder located on the MCP-12. Visually inspect the ferrule tip for any remaining epoxy. Polish for an additional 15 seconds if any epoxy is visible. Thoroughly clean the bottom surface of the plate, the ferrules, and the surface of the polishing film with distilled water and clean lint-free wipes after each use to avoid cross-contamination. Throw away lint-free wipes after each use. Remove the film. If you are continuing from step forward, the rubber pad should still contain enough water on the surface to keep the film in place. Apply a very small amount of distilled water to the rubber surface using the spray bottle. Using too much water will cause the film to slide around on the rubber pad. Place the 6 micron diamond film with the smooth shiny side down on the rubber pad. Start by placing the edge of the film onto the edge of the rubber pad. Slowly roll the film across the rubber pad to avoid creating large air bubbles. Spray distilled water onto the surface of the film. Use a clean lint-free wipe to press out any existing large air bubbles while cleaning the film at the same time. Spray distilled water onto the surface of the film again. Make sure the surface of the film is completely covered with distilled water. Set the fixture plate onto the four locating pins making sure that it lies flat on the base plate. Set the timer according to the fixture plate being used and press the green button. Refer to your manual for specific times. After polishing has finished, place the fixture plate into the fixture plate holder located on the MCP-12. Thoroughly clean the bottom surface of the plate, the ferrules, and the surface of the polishing film with distilled water and clean lint-free wipes after each use to avoid cross-contamination. Throw away lint-free wipes after each use. Replace the 6 micron diamond film with the 3 micron diamond film. The rubber pad should still have enough water on it to keep the film in place. Spray distilled water onto the surface of the film and wipe clean using lint-free wipes. This procedure will ensure a clean working surface and remove any large air bubbles. Again, spray distilled water on the film completely covering the surface. Set the fixture plate onto the four locating pins making sure that it lies flat on the base plate. Set the timer according to the fixture plate being used and press the green button. Refer to your manual for the specific times. 
After polishing has finished, place the fixture plate into the fixture plate holder located on the MCP-12. Thoroughly clean the bottom surface of the plate, the ferrules, and the surface of the polishing film with distilled water and clean lint-free wipes after each use to avoid cross-contamination. Throw away lint-free wipes after each use. Replace the 3 micron diamond film with the 1 micron diamond film. The rubber pad should still have enough water on it to keep the film in place. Spray distilled water onto the surface of the film and wipe clean using lint-free wipes. This procedure will ensure a clean working surface and remove any large air bubbles. Again, spray distilled water on the film completely covering the surface. Set the fixture plate onto the four locating pins making sure that it lies flat on the base plate. Set the timer according to the fixture plate being used and press the green button. Refer to your manual for specific times. After polishing has finished, place the fixture plate into the fixture plate holder located on the MCP-12. Thoroughly clean the bottom surface of the plate, the ferrules, and the surface of the polishing film with distilled water and clean lint-free wipes after each use to avoid cross-contamination. Throw away lint-free wipes after each use. Place the final polishing film onto the surface of the rubber pad. The rubber pad should still have enough water on it to keep the polishing film in place. Spray distilled water onto the surface of the film again. Make sure the surface of the film is completely covered with distilled water. Set the fixture plate onto the four locating pins, making sure that it lies flat on the base plate. Set the timer according to the fixture plate being used and press the green button. Refer to your manual for specific times. Pick up and thoroughly clean the surface of the fixture plate and ferrules using distilled water and clean lint-free wipes. Once the cleaning is finished, place the fixture plate back onto the fixture holder. The connectors are ready to be removed and tested.